called the show Missing Pictures, and um, I, you know, I really I like timeline shows because it feels like a um, a lot of times like a, a framework or um, and this this show actually I had a really hard time titling, <laughs> but I called the show Missing Pictures because I was thinking of, I like that idea of um, pictures that um, should be there that aren't there or or moments that that could have happened but are somehow gone. The idea started that they were um, frozen moments or moments that that where an event was about to happen and a lot of times they're sort of solitary um, artist types or hobbyists and then uh, others are sort of groups that are sort of making something together. Well it's interesting like where a picture can can exist like it can exist in your head um, and and you can carry it with you and and um, there's something about when something's pictured it becomes whole like there's a kind of wholeness to it or completeness to it and um, I was wanted these paintings to kind of um, kind of be in between these things something that that feels like indeterminate like something could change or or something should change and will never change. It's also something that it's, it's really hard to picture, um, like a physical touch or um, how, how something feels, you know, that's something that is not, you, you can't quite picture that in a concrete way. So I, I wanted to um, allude to that or give the feeling of it in the painting. I, I wanted it to feel like the features um, were maybe barely there or that almost as if a blind person was sort of feeling off that face and almost literally feeling off that face. It looks like how it could feel or something. Maybe they could feel like shadows of eyes that, that once were there but were mm -hmm. eyes that are sort of hovering just outside of the picture that are cast. In some of them I wanted them to kind of come at you at, kind of at once or have some of the space sort of um, flatten out and um, started feeling like I wanted it to feel like a like a, almost like a playing card or like a tarot card. I feel like this painting feels like like waiting to me like there's something with the papers going by like as a kind of almost framing device at the bottom. You know I wanted to paint just people passing time um, and I wanted the painting to sort of feel like a clock like um, there's sort of a kind of doubling of, of elements in the painting and, and um, um, like a counter, 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 <laughs> counterclockwise movement in right. the painting. And a lot of the paintings take place in these kind of outskirts of a, um, of a like maybe not in the city, but, but on the outskirts of it. I mean, I've always loved these paintings by like Mulderson Becker or like there's even Soutine paintings, or they're, they're paintings that, I always kind of like that space, like it, it felt like um, far away from everything, but there's still this sort of life or subjects happening, and um, you could tell it was like maybe at a time where things were about to change, you know, like they had just discovered trains, or, you know. But in this painting I was thinking about like a Mormon group, you know, like a, a small, small kind of local group, and that was sort of, reassembling this this picture or this this scene of like a car and a driver like maybe they found some some parts and thought okay well like maybe they hadn't invented cars yet but like maybe a picture that's just about to become a hole or or maybe it's it could become a hole or maybe not a hole this image it's like a a painting that kind of everyone has in their mind about when when this whole maybe when this country got started. Like, painting itself, like, the, that exists of that is is actually a really boring painting, I think, like, really boring. And I was sort of thinking about that image as, like, a, a springboard for the painting. I initially wanted to, to paint this painting because I, I kind of wanted to paint all that fabric that was, you know, going on in, in um, you know, the, those types of outfits that they'd be wearing. And uh, a lot of these paintings started with um, a wash, and I, I wanted them to feel like preliminary, like a, like, and then I was like sort of de deciding which, which parts I wanted to make more realized or if I wanted to change certain parts. And then I was like trying to f figure out with, with these sort of elements that were sort of kind of singed, um, some of them I 
felt like it worked if they were more graphic, like a kind of um, abstract graphic area um, in the painting. Well, I, I feel like a picture can be like a space that you can have a lot of abstract experiences within it. I like this one because, I mean, you know, it happened really fast and I think that that's kind of always a good sign. Um, and this was just started off as like a, a sketch, like a thumbnail sketch, like very casual and I kind of like the feeling of it, that it had this um, uh, kind of freshness, but also not, it didn't feel like too concrete, like, like it could, kept on moving. This one, I just thought it was an interesting subject because it, it seemed really abstract because it, it, it's like a, a subject where everything is inside. Um, you know, like you only see the outer shell of a, of a crab and it's kind of this, um, just, just lumpy abstract thing that usually covers something that's probably equally lumpy and abstract. <laughs> like, there was sort of a, these stains that um, that were also stained from the back um, that were kind of accidental, but I really liked them. Like they started to feel like um, almost like this atmospheric um, element or, or sort of um, movement in the sky or, or a kind of um, you know, almost like like a, a speech bubble. There's something so still about a painting anyway that, um, and I thought there's something kind of re um, absurd about this sort of redundant, um, p potentially redundant aspect um, to sort of make a, a still picture very still. Um, so in a lot, some of the paintings, it looks like something maybe had happened outside of the picture. Some of these paintings sort of felt French and, and um, well, there's, there's something about French, the French that, that feel um, mm. sort of sunny and light. I don't know, I guess you just go through different phases where you, you, you're painting a lot with this and you just want it to change. <laughs> you know, it was really fun kind of returning to, to color because I hadn't, um, it sort of, not known what to do with it in a little, like in the past two years or something. So I actually feel like I really enjoy color, you know. I just feel like, you know, you should always paint something how it, how it needs to be painted.